This is an Argentine tegu. Did you know that tegus can drop their tails? Yes, when people say tegus can lose their tails, she had got it caught under there, and yes, this is her, the tail still moving. Um, <laughs> when she had a little bit of it off, and I don't know whether the dogs that were there had grabbed her tail and started, whether it got jammed underneath the water heater, um, but when we got her out of the container to put her in the bathtub to give her a bath, she basically flung it off. <laughs> Pretty much. So now at least it's off and it can heal and this is not an unusual event with lizards. But and she's young it's kinda, to back. it is kind of interesting. Still freaking moving, moving a minute later. <laughs> In the video you just saw, a tegu dropped his tail. This process is known as caro autotomy. Caro meaning at the tail and autotomy meaning when an animal drops a part of their body. This is commonly seen in crested geckos. I know many of my viewers have them as pets. So the tegu in the video dropped his tail as a result of caudal autotomy. And that's completely natural in tegus and it's just not common. You don't see it much. So that's why when I saw this video for the first time, uh, I was so fascinated by it and I had to share it on my page. Lizards aren't the only animals capable of autotomy. Um, there's over 200 species of inverts that are also capable of it. And then there's two species of mammals that are capable of it. And these are African spiny mice. These African spiny mice can actually like remove up to 60% of their own skin and then they're going to regrow it back. Uh, they're crazy little animals and tegus don't release their skin, but they do release their tails. Caudal autotomy has been recorded in 13 out of about 20 families of lizards. And a tegu's tail can break off when it's grabbed by an enemy, but it can also break off um, when they feel very threatened. And this could be dangerous maybe if you have dogs around your tegu. I know my dog sometimes hangs out around my tegu, but I mean, just trying to limit that interaction, I would say, in my opinion. Tegu's original tail is made of bony vertebrae. If this original tail falls off, their bones and vertebrae don't grow back. Tegus make cells to build a new tail out of cartilage. And because of this, the regeneration process takes a lot of energy out of them. So color from their tail might be taken out and the tail that grow back will be black. Uh, it's not gonna look as nice as the original one did. Tegu tails play a role in locomotion, social interactions, mating, and energy storage. It's way too valuable of a uh, organ for them to just let go like many crested geckos just let it go like that so that's why it's not as common to see tegus uh, just drop their tails randomly so even if a tegu drops three-fourths of its tail it's gonna keep one-fourth of it for the needed fat cells there are some extreme cases where um, cuts will go into that one-fourth that's left for the fat reserves but that's usually due to physical trauma not autotomy so in my hand right here, I have the complete backstory of the video written by Todd the Snake Man, which is the person who recorded that video. I'll leave a link to his website and Facebook in the description. So right here, I'm gonna read off the email he sent me. He said, for the last three to four weeks, a huge lizard was terrorizing the apartment complex, according to the news. In reality, she was scared out of her mind, just trying to survive in the 100 to 108 degree temperatures. On the day in question, I got a call from the apartment complex saying this lady's dogs trapped it in her water heater closet. I immediately grabbed appropriate carry tub and a cotton lasso and a large hook not knowing her size, temperament, or exactly what I would need. I found her jammed behind under the water heater, so on my knees, face plastered against the water heater, I blindly felt behind the water heater worked my way up her tail to grab her by the hips. As gently as possible, pulling a thrashing, powerful three and a half foot tegu from a small space. As soon as I freed her, I immediately tucked her under my arm in a proper hold and she settled down. When I got home, I found her tail had been partially separated. I had already called my tegu person as I have a network of people who help out in special needs. 
As soon as she got home, I headed over. When we went to give her a bath, she went bonkers, thrashing wildly, trying to whip her tail and smack her tail against the side of the tub, which completed the separation process. The chemical imbalance causes the wildness. As soon as it's off, balance is restored and she went back to her normal self. The awe and wonder of it was overwhelming, and the tail going for so long was insane and fascinating. After the stress of her going nuts, and then the tail reaction was wonderment, which is why you can hear a gentle chuckle from my friend. Not that the situation was in any way funny, but seeing someone holding a foot long tail flinging around, well, the tail was fine. It is a natural, not common, but natural defensive behavior. I have never seen the like of this and thought others might find it fascinating as I did, which is why I recorded it. Well, first of all, Todd, thank you so much for recording that. Uh, it was so fascinating and thank you for letting me share it on my platform. One thing that immediately caught my attention while reading this was that when you said trying to whip with her tail and smack her tail against the side of the tub, uh, this reminded me of the story of how MacGyver the lizard lost his tail. Uh, if you watch MacGyver's video on his channel, uh, they specifically said, and I have it quoted right here, uh, MacGyver started acting weird, smacking his tail against the wall, and then ruptured some blood vessels in his tail. And uh, after that happened, MacGyver actually had to have a $1,500 surgery, which would cut off his tail and then they stitched it up. And MacGyver is a beautiful tegu. If you haven't followed him yet on Instagram or YouTube, I definitely recommend it. Um, but yeah, MacGyver is beautiful. And unfortunately, his tail had to be amputated. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button. I live stream every day on YouTube and younow.com, mainly on younow, so follow me on there. And I also have an Instagram account with 14,000 subscribers. And I wanted to thank everyone for helping me hit 30,000 subscribers on YouTube. Uh, also, my tarantula feeding video hit 1 million views. So I have to thank everyone for that. And I appreciate all the support, even a little like on this video supports me so i wanted to thank everyone one more time for watching and i'll be back soon for another video